This is a Ponzi scheme. This is not a government borrowing problem. We only need one day for the market to say that no, we are not giving you the money. And then we'll default on treasury bills too. And when we default on treasury bills to now tell you how we run the economy. Also, Controller and Accountant General calls for effort to safeguard the progress made in the country's public financial management ahead of government transition in 2025. Important ongoing initiative more often than not suffer slow progress or sometimes a complete stoppage after a change of government. Plus, Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana, COPEC, projects another increase in prices at the pumps, warning of dark economic consequences. We'll interrogate the issues. I am Michael Obudu. Please stay tuned as we bring you details of our headlines and many more shortly. Well, thank you for staying with us. Straight into our top story now. Isaac Adongo, the ranking member of Parliament's Finance Committee, has raised concerns over the sustainability of the country's Treasury bill market. In a lecture titled Ghana's Economic Mess, Victim of Irresponsible Economic Governance, delivered at the University of Professional Studies Accra, UPSA, Isaac Adongo described the two bills market as a Ponzi scheme waiting to collapse. The reckless government borrowing has, become a, has come a full cycle with weekly treasury bill maturities around 5 billion Ghana cities, with occasional weekly borrowing needs in excess of 10 billion, to cater for refinancing treasury bill maturities, coupon payments of DDP bonds, and financing of budget deficits. So where we are now, every week, government must borrow minimum 5 billion. And the 5 billion you borrow, you don't even rest because it's for 90 days. And because you have been borrowing 90 days, 90 days, it means that some mature every week. So every week, five billion, you have to look for it, and you have to go and borrow. Sometimes interest payment on other bonds mature, and you have 10 billion weekly requirements. This is a Ponzi scheme. This is not a government borrowing program. Clear Ponzi scheme. We only need one day for the market to say that, no, we are not giving you the money. And then we'll default on treasury bills too. And when we default on treasury bills to now tell you how we run the economy. So that was Isaac Adongo, his ranking member of Parliament's Finance Committee. Away from that, the Control and Accountant General has emphasized the need for effective management of the country's transition next year to prevent truncating the benefits of the public financial management system, PFM. In a meeting with accountants in Ghana, Kwesi Kwe Quinin Busum Pim said the PFM reforms has ensured accountability and transparency in the management of public funds. The goal of the PFM is to ensure fiscal discipline which has resulted in budgets and payroll reforms and revenue management. The controller and accountant general said these reforms can be truncated with a new government. Accounting for the slow pace of PFM reforms achievement in Ghana is that important ongoing initiative more often than not suffer slow progress or sometimes a complete stoppage after a change of government. This is a key national challenge we should all work together to address as government on one side and as professional accountants, the civil society and other relevant stakeholders on the other side. Chief Executive of the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, Helen Brandt, said ACCA will support the government to succeed. In Ghana, we're working uh, with um, the PFM reform program to understand how the capability and capacity uh, and the international perspectives that ACA brings can help with the implementation of the very ambitious PFM reform program here in Ghana. Um, we're making sure that we equip our members and future members with the right uh, capability. And we're involving uh, Ghana in our international policy work now, away from that, the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana, COPEC, has projected an up to 6% increase in fuel prices for the first pricing window in March. This is expected to kickstart tomorrow, March 1. This report has the details. Increase in international petroleum prices and dollar CD exchange rate are main drivers for the projected increases at the local pumps. The cost of crude oil, the primary ingredient in gasoline and diesel, has been rising in recent months. 
When the city weakens, it becomes more expensive to import fuel, which ultimately translates to higher prices at the pumps. Petrol price is expected to go up by 4.41%, ranging from 12 cities 28 pesos to 13 cities 57 pesos per liter. Diesel price is projected to increase by 6.26%, ranging from 13 cities 60 pesos to 15 cities 3 pesos per liter. Price of LPG is to go up by 2.46%, ranging from 12 cities 89 pesos to 14 cities 25 pesos per kilogram. It's important to remember that this is simply a projection. Actual fuel prices may differ slightly depending on individual fuel stations and any unforeseen changes in the market. So that was a three business news desk report. Meanwhile, head of research and training at Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana, COPEC, Paul Eric Owusu, is warning this increment could have dire consequences on the economy. We have seen crude oil uh, see some three percent, gasoline or petrol has also seen uh, some three percent increment. The diesel, on the other hand, has also seen uh, some two percent. Unfortunately, our city has lost um, some 2% over the last pricing window. There is a direct relationship between petrol and um, all other sectors of the economy. For instance, transportation, energy, and then also uh, food prices, as well as inflation. With our energy mix, we will need the gas, and then we will also need the diesel uh, to power some of our plants. And so, if we see um, these um, products, you know, go up, then indirectly electricity generators will also be forced to uh, adjust their prices. So you hear that Paul Eric Ofuri, he is the head of research and training at the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana, COPEC. Let's now turn our attention to the currency and commodities market and bring you updates. On the interbank foreign exchange market where banks trade amongst themselves, the dollar is selling at 12 cities 43 pesos. It gained 3 pesos. The British pound is selling at 15 cities 73 pesos. It recorded no price change. The euro is selling at 13 cities 45 pesos. It recorded no price change. However, be guided that these figures will be higher at a forex bureau near you. On the global commodities market, Brent crude oil is down by 0.10%, selling now at about $84 per barrel, while the price of an ounce of gold is up by 0.16%, selling at about $2,034. Price of cocoa is down by 7.14%, selling at $5,994 per ton. So those were updates from the currency and the commodities markets, bringing an end to the business news on Sunrise. For more business stories, please check out our website. It's 3news.com forward slash business. I am Michael Lubadu. Thank you for listening. As always, please stay safe and Sunrise continues.